Ladies and gentlemen, date of birth secrets. What if you don't know somebody's horoscope, they don't know their time of birth, or maybe due to some other reason, they know it, but still it's not giving you the best results. How can you speak about somebody's nature? How can you how can you know what a person is internally? So for this, we use numerology just by using your date of birth. The DOB alone, you can speak so many things about the person. So when I'm talking of numerology, you need to understand that you have to know the numbers which are present only in your date of birth. So for example, you are born on uh, 1st of February 1957. So then you have the numbers 1, 2, then 5 and 7. But we do not take the first two digits of the year. So technically, almost everybody or most of the people watching this video are born in the 1900s. So we do not consider these two numbers. But there are two other numbers that we consider. One is the destiny number. So the destiny number is the sum of the entire date of birth along with the first two digits of the year. Okay. So when I say 1st February 1957, now destiny number is you add everything 1 plus 2 plus 1 plus 9 plus 5 plus 7. All right. So that will be your destiny number. And the other number is the basic number. So in case of basic number, we uh, calculate the sum of the day. So if you are born on 1st uh, or 2nd or till 9th, then it is the same. So or if you are born on 11, then it is 2 or if you are born on 23rd, it is, you know, 5. Okay. So we take all the numbers except the first two digits of the year and then we take the basic number and then the destiny number. So in the destiny, we calculate everything. All right. So now when you have all the numbers, you can predict a lot about the person. So for example, you know, number one represents the power of the sun. Number two is moon. Then three is Jupiter. Four is Rahu. Five is Mercury. Six is Venus. Seven is Ketu. Eight is Saturn. And nine is Mars. So now, if suppose a person has these three numbers in his uh, date of birth, like three, seven and nine, then the person can be a bit spiritual. Now, this may not uh, reflect in terms of like, you know, uh, religiousness uh, or spiritual stuff in a traditional dogmatic sense. But the person may like to read more. The person may like to, you know, want to know other cultures, want to know God, you know, higher wisdom. So 3, 7 and 9, if somebody has these numbers, then you know the person will want to inquire about the higher truths, okay? Now, of course, you need to check the astrological chart and, you know, there if the Lagna, 5th, ninth they are combining, then this is guaranteed to give uh, spiritual inquisitiveness, okay? But why, we, why are we discussing this? Because suppose you don't know somebody's, uh, suppose in your office, you know, you have some Kali, and you cannot go and ask their you know, time, place. I mean, it does not look very good, right? <laughs> so, you can go and ask them, you know, what, what is their birthday, for example. You know, you, you, will, you, will, you will know their birthday anyways. And the year, maybe you can, you know, try to guess, you know, uh, somehow. But nonetheless, if you come to know, then actually what happens is, you can use this to uh, make very prominent predictions. Or know what kind of gifts you should give to somebody. So for example, if the person has 3, 7 and 9, all the three numbers, then you know that you can give a book to this person or, you know, uh, give some, uh, yeah, anything which uh, makes uh, the person want to do something better in life, you know, upgrade himself or herself. You know. Similarly, if uh, the person has 6 in the date of birth, after you calculate uh, or the person has 9 or even better, you know, 6 and 9 together, like, you know, whatever, maybe 6th of September, 9th of June or something like this. Okay. So then, you know, this person is having Mars and Venus energy very strong. So then this person would love to uh, like uh, get more knowledge about, you know, beauty, makeup, fitness and all this. So if a person has a two or a six, then you can give uh, because these are moon and Venus energies. They would love to do you know makeup and all this you know fitness. And if six and nine are present, then fitness you know could be something you know protein bar, protein powder, or some license at the gym or whatever. I mean that you 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 will decide as per time and place. Okay, so and people 
who have two and three or two especially or if they have you know like double two triple two like for example they are born on 22nd of any month or you know a second february so they have two the number two two times okay or 22nd february so three times could be four 27 22nd february 1992 four times <laughs> so then the person may be very fond of sweets you know the person may be very fond of uh, eating nice things okay and if six is there the person will be very fond of branded things okay like iphone and you know all this the person will be a bit sophisticated okay and if somebody has number seven and four then they will love to travel the world so then you know you can give them some travel tickets or no and this you can use for marriage compatibility also if a person does not have seven or four either one of them then the person is like neutral the person may not like so much traveling or the person may not dislike also but it's like neutral now if the horoscope says the person likes the person may still like but suppose you are going for marriage compatibility and you have seven and four together then it is imperative that your spouse also has at least seven or four otherwise what will happen you will always want to travel and the other person will say no no i don't like to travel you know oh yeah i can travel once in two months three months six months but not every day or every weekend you know they may not like to travel but if suppose both have seven and four both will be extremely compatible okay now if both of them have six both will be very brand conscious the number five is mercury it shows money so if both have number five then they are extremely they are going to be extremely conscious about money and uh, their expenses okay now if suppose one person has six and the other has five so one is spending money venus six and another is only saving money so then that can create drifts okay similarly if somebody has number one or their basic number destiny number is one then what happens is you you uh, can praise the person or the person can be a very good leader no no all the prominent personalities uh, in politics uh, if you see now they they have the number one like uh, prime minister narendra modi has uh, president putin or dollar trump president dollar trump then kamala harris also has it joe biden also has it but it's in a bit uh, different way so you can see you know Pr president xi jinping he al also has this okay so therefore if if the person has number 1 you and you are a manager and you know your subordinate your employee or your junior has this then you can encourage that person hey my dear sir my dear madam why don't you go and <coughs> take up some leadership role in the company i think you will good with it okay so the and if there is some work which requires you know a lot of risk taking okay so then if somebody has number 9 you should give it to that person okay so therefore using the date of birth alone you can do wonders because every time uh, in your office or in your neighborhood you know you may not be able to uh, get the time and place for somebody but date of birth you can find very easily okay and the day you know suppose you don't know the date of birth also you just know the birthday somebody is born on like you no know, uh 14 for example so we have the number 1 4 and 5 because 14 1 plus 4 is 5 so then the person may like leadership roles the person may like to you know save money and four is the number of travel so the you you can give like some money to the person in a envelope if it's their birthday or you know you can give them some travel tickets or you can give them a gift them a book on your know, leadership okay so they will love this okay so therefore and uh, number seven people they love to travel but with a bit level of uh, higher level of luxury okay so this is something you need to take care of and number eight of course is the number of saturn it's humility so if somebody has number eight you know you can like uh, even if you tell them that you know uh, uh, there is no luxury in my house can you come you know they'll still come because saturn shows you know they are humble and you know they're a bit down to earth okay so that is how you can use so know the traits of the particular numbers corresponding to the particular planets and three i forgot to say is the number of jupiter so you can have endless conversations with anybody who has three they're very knowledgeable on topics you know on different topics it could be all right so use them get to know the numbers calculate the numbers the basic number and the destiny number and then 
you know what gifts you should give or how you should interact, what kind of compatibility you can have. You can do this compatibility test with your mother, father, your brother, sister, or anybody, your friend, okay? And when you know what numbers they have, you can know what to talk when you are with them. So suppose you do not have the number six and your uh, sister has number six. So when you go, go to meet her, you can discuss about, you know, fashion, beauty, makeup and all this. Now, of course, because you don't have that, you may not like discussing it for hours. But whenever you are with her, you have to know it's her priority. Or if a man has, you know, six and nine, he will be very much into fitness and, you know, bodybuilding, gym and all this. So then you you can discuss, you know, about sports, uh, about, you know, eating the right amount of protein or, you know, the right kind of cardio, gym, uh, muscle training and all this. All right. So you can make amazing relationships with people if you just know their date of birth. All right. So thank you very much. If you want a commercialized consultation, my website is down below and God is there with you all the time. Just look to him and you will find him. And for other videos, please don't forget to subscribe to Exotic Astrology. All right. Take care.